This video will describe the second feed-to-length solution, titled Feed to Registration Mark. This solution is useful for applications like sleevers or labelers, where product needs to be moved rapidly and precise positioning may be required off a registration mark on the product. Delta's Innovative Program Register, or PR mode, available on the A2 servo drive will be used to control this application. We are going to use two different program register or PR moves in the A2 servo drive to complete this application. The first is an absolute position move, and the second is a capture move based off the capture input of the drive. Both moves use positioning user units, or PUU, as their positioning reference. This positioning is based off the electronic gearing of the drive, and always defaults to 100,000 PUU per rev of the motor. This is so both the A2 and the B2 servo drive can have the same PUU per rev. For more information on this, please see Delta's video on position user units. To prevent misreads, the compare function will be used to create a masking window and enable the capture function only within a specific window. Here is our example, showing an index move of 100,000 counts. A registration mark is at position 70,000 of that move. To begin, an absolute move of 100,000 counts will be executed. In addition, the compare function will be enabled to execute at position 60,000. When that position is reached, the compare will activate the capture input to read the registration mark. Once the registration mark is read, a capture move of 30,000 counts will interrupt the previous move for fine positioning. If for some reason the capture input is not read, then the absolute move will continue until position 100,000 is reached and the capture input will be disabled at position 80,000 by the compare function. This screen shows a visual representation of the PR map that will be used for this application. We'll use a combination of positional moves and parameter rights in the PR. The PR mode wizard in ASDA soft allows us to set up both types of PRs and visualizes the sequence of events as a blue line on the left hand side. Here we can set up the type of move and also what parameter to be writing in a PR. The auto and interrupt option in the right parameters allows us to sequence a number of parameter writes together. A single position move or a right parameter without the auto option checked will end a sequence of PRs and be depicted as two horizontal lines in the PR map on the left. The initial PR sequence starts from homing and executes a number of write parameters to set up the capture and compare function before issuing the 100,000 count index move. The remaining PR sequences are called when either the compare or the capture function have activated. PR45 is called when the compare function reaches its position and is used to jump to either PR20 or 30 depending on which position. PR20 is called when the first position of 60,000 is reached and enable the capture input. PR30 is called if the capture input is never read and the position reaches 80,000. If the capture input is read, then PR50 is executed, which executes our capture move. We're going to walk through setting up the first sequence of PRs from PR0 to PR8, starting with the homing routine, which will simply set the current position to 0 and jump to PR1. Next we will set up PR1, which is set to write to a parameter of the drive. This is going to be set up to write to parameter P559, to disable the compare functionality while we set up the system. When we select the right parameter function, we will also be selecting the interrupt and auto options to ensure that the parameter writes happen in a sequence. PR2 will now be set up, which will disable the capture function, again to allow us to set up the proper parameters for this application. PR3 will now be set up as well as a parameter write with the same interrupt and auto function enabled. This parameter write will be to P5-56 and will set the data address for the compare uh, data address in the data register. PR4 will be a parameter write to P5-57 which sets the compare counter number. Here we'll set that to zero. PR5 will be another parameter write to parameter P5-58, which sets the compare amount to 1. PR6 is going to be set as a parameter write to P5-60, 
to re-enable the compare functionality now that we've set up the parameters correctly for the application. PR7 sets the PR that will be executed when the compare function has been executed. This is set to PR20. Finally, we will set our move command of 100,000 PUU into PR8. This will be an absolute position move. Here we will set the acceleration, deceleration, and speed, and set the position command. From here we can download this completed first sequence to the drive and continue programming the remaining sequences using the methods described. At this point, we can test a PR move by triggering PR0. Once we run, we can see that our position is incrementing. Executing PR0, or homing, will trigger the sequence of events. This can be triggered by communication or via digital input. This concludes Delta's video on feed-to-length solutions using registration marks. For more information, please contact Delta's Industrial Automation Hotline for support.